Okay. All right. Let me advance over to the Calabra. All right. So the Calabra A4K is designed for huddle and conference room with BYOD capability. So I can have up to eight sources displayed on the screen simultaneously. You notice on the back, I've got multiple inputs here. I have HDMI in one, HDMI in two, I have VGA, and I also have USB-C, which is important for uh, our new generation of laptops to be able to connect. So I can connect up to four dongles. Now these are sold separately in case you're not interested in those. Those work with Mac and Windows laptops. So they're very simple to connect Mac and Windows laptops wirelessly. But I also can connect iPhone and Android phones wirelessly. Now, if we look at the screenshot in the lower right, there's seven sources in that example. The upper left is the dominant input signal. And then I've got six smaller windows and the two in the lower left, those two windows are showing you that I've got an iPhone and an Android phone connected as well. So that can be any of the inputs, whether they're wired or wireless, I can combine any quantity of those up to eight onto the screen. Okay, so great BYOD solution for huddle room and conference rooms. So please take a look at that further. The next one up is the Eco Plus. This is just really, frankly, a very simple wireless extension over 20 meters. If you have a uh, huddle room, small room, and you want to avoid the wiring, this is a great solution for that. All right, we're switching gears here. We're going to look at cameras. We have a number of cameras that fit in different scenarios, different applications for conferencing and presentation. So the VIP Cam 10, what its specialty is, is USB connectivity to programs like GoToMeeting, GoToWebinar, Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, and so on. And it's where you want to have something more than just the camera on your laptop. So this camera has full PTZ movement and Zoom capability. I can set presets and that's really an important feature because I may want to have a preset for whoever is speaking in the presentation and then I may want to move the camera to another speaker or I might have some product or products that I want to show. So this allows you to, you know, as they say in the photography world, I can frame exactly what I want the user to see as opposed to being you know, held prisoner by what my laptop camera has decided they're going to see. So I can really frame the shot the way I want it in my presentation. Uh, so this takes those kinds of meetings to higher level. As a practical example, one case study we have on our website, there's a pretty well-known martial arts organization called ATA, and they mostly specialize in Taekwondo, but they do their classes live. A number of their facilities use the VIP Cam 10 to do classes from home. And they have the presets on the camera, on the instructor, and then they move it to, they always have students who do example moves and they have a preset for that. And then the entire class they might show on the camera. Uh, so that's one example, but please, Feel free to think of many others. Okay, next is its big brother, the VIP Cam 30. And now we get into what we call follow presenter quality PTZ mechanisms. And what that means in practice is if you've got a live presenter who likes to walk a stage a lot, or maybe you have more than one and one has different mannerisms, than the other walks faster or things like that. The PTZ mechanisms on here are very granular. So I can follow my presenter with great accuracy with the CAM 30 and all of its bigger brothers that we're about to see. And that can be done using joystick controllers that are compliant with a Visca or Poco control, which we have one, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So the VIP Cam 30 
very high quality chip and optics. This camera does well and beats out a lot of more expensive cameras of names you're very familiar with that have owned you know, the live presentation space for many decades, such as Sony or Panasonic or JVC, Blackmagic and so on. So I really encourage you to look at these cameras, get some in for your own testing, your own evaluation, because I think you're gonna be really pleased with the quality of imagery, the quality of motion. Now, as in terms of outputs, you'll see each of the models have different sets, so they fit different applications. So while the Cam 10 is USB 2.0 only output for soft codecs like we're using now, the VIP Cam 30 offers an HDMI output and USB 2.0, just like the Cam 10, but it also has streaming outputs, RTSP, RTMP outputs. So you could actually stream directly out of this camera. The next one up is the VIP Cam 100 and DI. Now this looks identical, as you can see, to the 30, but it also has NDI HX output, and now we also have 3G SDI output and we lose USB 2.0 on this model, but it does have the high quality chip and 20X optics, as well as digital zoom. It gives it up to 240X zoom. I'm sure some of you have experience in small, mid, large venue presentation. Usually if you have a camera that's 40 to 60X, you're covering all scenarios. Our digital zoom allows you to throttle it down so I can have the 20x zoom and add 3x digital zoom and now I have 60x capability. So I still have a very high quality image, but I can frame talking heads in mid-large venues, you know, some of the larger churches, for example. So this has been a very popular camera in those types of applications. Okay, now we do have a controller. We are looking into some options for uh, our next design that you'll probably see Q3 or Q4 of this year, but this is a um, Visca or Pilco compliant controller. It's been super popular because of its footprint. It's about the size of your hand. So it fits nicely on a, in a system where there is a lot of other equipment. A great example, again, would be House of Worship. And it can very fast, quickly call cameras and create or call presets for those cameras. So if you're on a site and you want to set your presets moments before a show, you just do it within a few button presses and then you easily recall those presets. So very, very cool little product, really nice price point. So I would recommend take a look at that. And now we're going to look at a totally different kind of camera. So this is definitely targeted towards huddle rooms, conference rooms, and this is an all-in-one where it has your microphones, your speakers, and your camera all built in together. Now, there's plenty of other products like this out on the market, but for one, we're, we're priced quite a bit better than a number of them. And two, a really important feature is we always try to provide products with the highest quality imagery or sound and so on. So our camera not only has electronic, you know, zoom and pan like, all the others, but we offer mechanical pan and tilt. So this is different and it's an advantage because what it means is I can retain the greatest use of the 4K chip on the camera if I'm moving the camera, the chip lens assembly to position it towards the area that I want to capture as opposed to only using electronic zoom, which reduces the amount of the chip that you're using to capture the area that you want. So when you see our auto tracking in action, you'll actually see that lens following you. It's pretty cool. 
it's also a little spooky, but you should definitely get one of these in, try it out for yourself. The speakers actually sound quite good. So I would impress on you, you know, if you want high quality audio as well as camera, this does really stand up very well against competitive products out there. And it does offer extension microphone. It's about a five inch diameter puck microphone that has a confirmation LED on it, whether you're muted or not muted. Okay, and as you can see, it works with all these uh, platforms. And again, everything I'm showing you, by the way, is in stock. So if you want to get a demo unit in, just contact sales and we can get that out to you as soon as tomorrow. Okay, now we're going to switch gears and talk about switching and transport. The first thing up is our streaming encoder. This is a very cool product. It takes any HDMI source that you plug in and allows you to transport it literally anywhere in the world because its decoder points are mostly popular platforms like YouTube or Facebook or Wowza or so many others that accept in RTMPS or RTMP, RTSP streams. So this allows another, again, House of Worship, it's a perfect example. I can take the output of a broadcast mixer, put it into the streaming encoder, and countless number of people can be your audience through these popular platforms. I mean, it was designed to be extremely easy to operate and it's only a one-time setup so once you enter your destination urls you don't have to do that again and that's all done through a web interface on the box so there's no piece of software you have to load or so on and there's a front lcd panel that gives you diagnostic information so you know that you are streaming or you're not streaming and so on and you can do three simultaneous streams. Uh, so you can either do RTMP, RTMPS stream, you can do a uh, RTSP stream and a TS stream all simultaneously. So you can hit multiple platforms in one shot. Now there are displays that accept the output of the stream 200 and there are quite a number of applications that are using this kind of product in that application. LG Displays, for example, their WebOS accepts RTSP streams. So you can create a very simplified and effective large-scale distribution network in a large venue using Stream 200s with LG Displays, um, moving around different cable boxes or satellite or media players and things like that. Okay, so uh, again, this has been very popular for us. I highly recommend you dig into this further. And I think you'll also find the price amazing, especially compared to any similar competitive products out there. Okay, we have a couple of production switches, the 601 and the 6000. These are program preview, production broadcast type switchers. And they have this model has six inputs the last two being hdmi and then the program output is both hdmi and sdi and the preview output is a multi-view so you see all of your sources in monitor windows along with preview program buses on both sdi and hdmi outputs and you have the ability to mix a uh, external audio source, maybe off your audio mixer into the 601, and that would go out the program. Uh, you've got a number of cross effects. You've got crossfade, cut, you got wipes, and you can also do picture in picture. All right, the 6000 adds quite a bit. So this really is a four-in-one product. This is a production switch a media player, a media recorder, and a camera controller all in one device. So this is a very attractive type product for 
staging and rental, hotel AV, house of worship, and lots of others, but those are some of the top possibilities. So again, inputs five and six are HDMI, but we call these flex inputs because they can also be DVI-D or DVI-A, or there's two media player ports on the right side of the switcher where you would use USB memory sticks and you can dedicate inputs five or six or both as media playback off of those. And there are transport controls for those media players right above the program preview button rows. Um, now you have additional audio capability. We have XLR balanced uh, audio outs and you have mixing capability where you can actually mix multiple audio sources, including embedding external audio off of an audio mixer. But I can mix audio from one of the SDI or flex inputs along with the embedded audio input. This also adds Luma and chroma keying so you can you know, have lower thirds and other types of overlay effects. All right, now we're going to look at more presentation stuff used in huddle conference rooms, auditoriums, just presentation halls. The PSA20S is a two bus output, each with an independent scaler um, that you can set different from the other output bus. And you've got eight inputs, which include an HD base T transmitter for input one. That HD base T transmitter is included with the main switch and offers an option for embedded balanced stereo analog audio. And then inputs two, three, and four are HDMI, also with optional embedded stereo balanced analog. And input five is HDMI. Input six is VGA with option of uh, unbalanced stereo insertion. Input seven is display port and input eight is USB-C. You can do last priority switching on here and you can also disable that. And then I can have a, a microphone input and on the outputs, I've got each bus has a balanced stereo analog output along with um, Toslink digital outputs. On the first HDMI bus, I have an HDMI out, again with its own scaler. The second bus is HDMI mirrored with an HD base T output. The HD base T receiver comes standard included with the switch. And then you've got control options. The switch will send CEC commands at power up or sensing uh, first input. I can also program in display control over RS-232 so I can enter display on off commands into the web interface of the box so that I can do RS-232 control. A PSA-20S is controllable by RS-232 or LAN and we do offer ICON and QSIS drivers. And we have a very simple API that makes it easy to write drivers for any control automation system you might otherwise use. But I do encourage you to learn about our ICON control system. So please ask me or anyone else at PureLink about that, and we'll be happy to send you information on that. Okay, the PS610. So this is the little brother to the A20S. Um, this is 4K60, also seamless switching and auto scaling on the output. We've got six inputs. Five of them are on the main switch, and one of them is on the HD base T receiver, which is included in the price and in the box. Okay, so on here again, input one is USB-C with 60 watt charging capability. So if you have a laptop connected direct to it, and that is also the case for you for input two, HDMI for input three, as well as four and five. Okay, then you have the ability to embed audio on a stereo balanced 
analog line in and you have the embedding audio stereo balanced analog. Now you'll notice there's a Dante connector here. So we can do two channels. We can bring two channels of Dante audio into the switcher and then have that come out the HDMI local output or the HD base T receiver. But I can also send two channels of Dante audio out of the PS610 onto the Dante network. So that's a very powerful feature on this product. You'll see on the receiver that, as I mentioned before, I have a local input, HDMI in, and I can also use it as a KVM extender for keyboard, mouse, and so on. And I can also get my embedded, uh, I can de-embed my audio at the receiver. There is a uh, selection switch on the front of the receiver to pick either whatever source is coming from the main switch or from the local input, but I can also set it as a priority override. PS610 also offers multi-view, so you can see the different layouts that it's capable of down there on the bottom left, and it also provides a CEC control. All right, moving on, there's a few products that you know you always wind up adding into huddle room or conference room application. Really, this slide is just to prime you that we have lots of little tools in our toolbox, and some of the more popular ones, of course, are HD base T extenders, but the one in the lower left is our embedder D embedder. And I like this because I you know, if I need something in my kit, I don't need to buy two different SKUs. So this will embed audio onto an HDMI line, or it will de-embed audio off of an HDMI line. So it's also been a very popular product. But mostly what I want you to take away from this slide is if you need anything, as in terms of audio video transport or conversion, scaling, insertion, extraction, you name it, Dante. We have a whole line of Dante products. Just contact us because we probably have what you need. And if we don't, we'll, we'll let you know. Okay, but a, a lot of times we have just about everything you need. All right, so I did mention Icon. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of that and a little bit of audio and we'll be done. Icon 10W, we've had this for several years. This is just a very simple, tactile 10 button single gang controller its programming interface is actually a web page that's built into the controller so you just open that up and you assign the control commands that you want for each of the buttons and you're done so it's very simple and very easy it fits a lot of different applications and it is possible to create macros for each of the buttons. So if I want to do more than one thing with one button, it is possible to do that. So I can assign up to six commands to each one of the buttons. It runs off of PoE, uh, so you just connect it to the network switch and it'll be live. All right, so really easy, cost-effective, and very effective control-wise product for all sorts of applications. All right, now we're gonna look at our Icon Suite. Now, this is the Easy Control Suite. This very cool product line comes with a number of different pieces that we'll go over in the Icon class coming up early in May, but this is just an overview. And if you are interested and you want some materials now, just reach out to us and I can get you the previous Icon webinar presentation, there's a video and PowerPoint, and I can get you all that. And then you can also go online to our website and look this up. But the first, the notable points about this product line is that all the interfaces are also controllers. So you don't need necessarily additional pieces of hardware. You could, for example, just get the touch screen. And because it's also a controller, that might be all you need. So it makes it very easy and simple. And it's very, very scalable. So you could have one touch panel. You can have 200 touch panels. You can have a four-inch wall mount, a 10-inch tabletop, a keypad. You can just mix and match however makes sense for you. And because it, the interface is completely programmable, there is no end to 
what you can provide the customer or limit what you provide to them. And you can also create password protected pages so that only technicians can get to certain levels of parameters and adjustments of equipment. You can automate the system so that it makes changes based on certain conditions of equipment, or you can make it time-based, say, the, turn the room on every weekday and turn it off every weeknight. So there, there's tons of power in the system. If you need more I.O., we have the black boxes like you see in the lower left to add additional connectivity. Um, and we also have a little expander that is very effective for putting I.O. connections in many different rooms in a building. But one of the most advantageous parts of this product line is how easy it is to program. The programming language is Purelink's own easy language, and it's literally writing in everyday English and using your mouse, just mouse clicks. So it really is a paradigm shift in the simplicity of creating your control system. It can significantly reduce programming time down, I would say, from you know weeks on many other platforms like Crestron and QSYS to a couple of days on ICON. And we really want you to try this out for yourself because there's no better way to feel confident and believe what I'm saying, how easy this is to program. Um, I used to do Crestron and AMX programming many years ago. I'm sure some of you have done that. And there's a lot of training you have to go through. That's just not the case. We intentionally designed this product over years to make this extremely easy to program and therefore reprogram. And it's shipping now. So please get a demo unit in. And we've got webinars and videos how-to guides, quick start, and all that. So take a shot at Icon. I think you'll find it to be a great revolution in, in control automation. All right, so that's my sales pitch on that. We uh, introduced a wireless audio series. Why did we do that? We had, and we still have packages for broadcast solutions. And when I say that, you know, it could be anywhere from a podcaster to house of worship to an auditorium, a conference hall, and so on. And we provide those as a system solution. So this product stands right up there with some of the big names that you all know, sure, Audio-Technica, Sennheiser, and all that. It's very, very good stuff. My favorite part about our system, if you notice our podium mic, it is wireless. So it has an eight-hour battery life on it. So if you wind up in a situation where you're doing hotel AV or staging rental or post wire, you don't want to wire up for a podium mic. That's a really cool little piece of gear. But we offer bell packs and handhelds and lavaliers and headsets and charging bases and the paddle antenna distro system. And you can get this in either a single or a dual receiver, one rack unit. So check that out. I know. Richard's on this call. I know he's had quite a few of those go out in the field. All right, so take a look at that. Again, I've mentioned this a few times now, test drive. We want you to believe in the product because it really has been designed very thoughtfully about being easy and reliable, easy to program and integrate and install and easy to operate and diagnose. So just contact us. We'd, we'd love to send you some gear so you can kick the tires for yourselves. And if you don't want to keep it, that's fine. Send it back. If you keep it, do not worry. We will bill you for it. Last, we send out news every week. The best way to get that news is in our website. Upper right corner is a way to sign up for our emails. If you don't want to do that or you want other avenues, uh, LinkedIn is another great way to keep abreast of what we're doing. And we do publish on Facebook and X and Instagram as well. And we have lots of videos on YouTube on product demos, you know, set up and just overall, you know, sales demo videos. Okay, so I'll stay on if you guys have questions. I hope this has been helpful. 
we have classes coming up on our media access line, uh, USB-C products. We have a whole pile of USB-C stuff, and you've seen some of it today in the H20S Collabor and PS610. Um, we have a whole line of Dante products. I really recommend you take a look at those. And of course, our AV over IP products. We have quite a number of SKUs that allow you to solve you know, every possible AV over IP switching distribution requirement. So I think that's it. I'm done. So thanks again for the time. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys on future webinars. And please make sure to use our test drive program. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.